Hello, it is Foundation Friday, the 13th of December, 2019. I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess this is the final Friday, the 13th of the year. And the final Friday, the 13th of the entire decade. I haven't checked the calendar, but that's just a guess. Anyway, on a serious note, and check it out. I have my new iPhone, and I can't seem to center myself in the iPhone. This thing is so big that I can't even get in the middle of the thing. But anyway, um, you see behind me on the shelf here, this entire shelf of books by the author Dan S. Kennedy. And I have another entire uh, shelf, uh, several, a uh, few bookcases over with uh, another row of all books by Dan S. Kennedy. And uh, I'm gonna give props to Dan today because I had a conversation with a client. Which way do I face here? I guess this way. Had a conversation with a client earlier this week who is looking to make a transition. He's got a lead to a fantastic client. Uh, but we had a discussion. He has this hesitation and fear of taking on this client. Basically, the client is much bigger uh, than the normal client that he takes on. And we finally came to the realization that I think he just told me, but we finally came to the realization is that he knows He's got to speak differently and offer different things to this bigger, more sophisticated, basically wealthier, more affluent client than he does to the regular clients that he's so comfortable dealing with and he has everything in line and everything he delivers. And he's like, you know, this guy doesn't want any of that stuff. He'll, he'll just laugh at that stuff. And I was like, you know, what you're describing is uh, one of my favorite books by Dan Kennedy, The No BS Marketing to the Affluent book. And it's also his thickest book by far in the No BS book series. And uh, I immediately, uh, I said, you know, I can, I'll go right now into amazon.com and I'll send you a copy of the book or you can go on it for 15, 20 bucks, whatever. But then I also went into my library here, my shelf, uh, where I have years worth of newsletters that Dan Kennedy wrote a companion newsletter uh, called the No BS Marketing to the Affluent Newsletter. Uh, uh, excellently well-named, huh? And uh, that is more years of uh, concepts, strategies, tips, examples of how it's completely different when you are advertising, marketing, selling, speaking to the affluent as when you're speaking to the masses the average person. Uh, in fact, if you are or if you know of the affluent or if you are self-made, so you at one, which many of the affluent are, at one point you were broke, homeless, poor, penniless, or some combination thereof, and now you are wealthy, well then you know the difference. You know that back when you were broke, you were very concerned about price, not as concerned about quality or convenience or status or any of those other kind of things. And that's why you have McDonald's and Walmart and all those kind of things. But the affluent, there are certain things we're getting at that the affluent want. And there are certain things that will absolutely turn them off. And it's the same with the masses. You'd start telling them about status or convenience. They're like, yeah, no, 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 it's, you know, come on now, I can't afford that, blah, blah, blah. And so mentioning price, price is one uh, specifically, and there's a whole bunch of them that Dan mentions in his books and the newsletters and, and anywhere else you study. Uh, and like I said, if you do market to the affluent or you are, then you recognize that price, it's not only price elasticity, meaning price, you have two different prices, basically have a range of prices you could charge for the same product or service, but Oftentimes, there's an option, op opposite response to price from the masses to the affluent. So that the masses, if you say this is the low priced item, we have the best price, that is great. The masses hear that and love it. It absolutely repels the affluent. They're like, I don't want a piece of crap that's the, the cheapest one of its kind. I want the best. You know, so how Motel 6 does its marketing and advertising and sales is completely different than how the Ritz-Carlton does it and vice versa. So things that happen at the Ritz-Carlton would totally turn off uh, your average uh, income person, your average uh, wealth person. 
but there are obviously things at the Motel 6 that completely would turn off the wealthy and vice versa. So here's the bottom line. This is very important. It's just as easy, if not easier, by the way, to sell to the affluent. They have more money and they spend it more easily. And of course you can make a lot more money and a lot less people market to them. So it's likely that it's easier to sell to people who have money and like spending lots of money but it is completely different. So if you have not been doing it before, it takes a complete transformation of your advertising, marketing, and sales systems and efforts and strategies and tactics. And so, as always, there's a few different routes you can take if that's something you want to do. Number one, you can read all the books and the newsletters and then attempt through trial and error to implement what you've learned. And that's going to cost a lot of time, money, effort, frustration, and most importantly, opportunity cost. The money you could be making if you were good at it right away, as opposed to, like I always say to people that take that route, I'm like, you know, you probably get the heck, because that's a mistake I made with a lot of this stuff, which is why I have bookshelves full of books and, you know, uh, seminar notes and, you know, thousands of hours of attending trainings and whatever, like, but I look back and I'm like, you know, it took me five, seven years to really get great at this. Holy crap, if I was great from day one, look at all the money that I missed that I could have been making for five or seven years if I was good at it right away or since I wasn't gonna be good at it right away, it's a skill, needs to be learned and honed, uh, if I would have just hired somebody to do it right away or if I can't afford actually to hire someone to just do it all, at least hire someone to teach me quicker than learning it all on my own. Get someone who's an expert in it, who's been there, who's done it, and it might have only taken me six months or a year to start really getting really good results instead of seven years of not having the money come in because I thought I couldn't afford to hire someone to do it for me. So in the long term, it doesn't make sense. It always makes more sense in the long term, in my experience, uh, looking back, unfortunately, a lot of the time, to hire someone to do it. But uh, absent that, that is the highest cost, if that's not something you can afford right away, to at least get someone to mentor you, to guide you along the way that's been there and done that. And I always uh, operate best that way. I, I've never been one to learn best out of a book. I always learn best when I have a teacher, when I'm in a client, when I can ask a question, get a clarification. So I've taken all kinds of lessons, and you have probably too. My dad gave me lessons when I was a kid, and this and that. You take music lessons, you take sports lessons, you take lessons and all kinds of things besides the school you're going to. How come when we get to be adults, we suddenly forget? And it's too bad we don't have our parents. If they wanted us to play the piano, they don't just say, there's the piano, play, figure it out, read a book. Hey, here's a 430-page book, figure out how to play the piano. They could do that take a long time and you'd not nearly be as good as if you had somebody to ask questions of. So even better, let's give you a few lessons. Okay, so that's probably the best foundational tip today. It's, it's a twofer. Number one, marketing to the affluent is really where it's at, but it's a whole different strategy, tactics, everything is different. Uh, marketing to the affluent as opposed to marketing the masses. And number two, really in everything, if you really want the fastest path, to having more fun, making more money, and having less stress, having surer results. You get someone to guide you who knows what they're doing. And to that end, if you want some help from me, uh, you go to helpfromsteve.com. If you want help from somebody else, look them up. But by all means, I suggest you take the quickest path and either have someone do it for you or at least have someone guide you along the way as opposed to the really slow, costly way like I did and I've done, unfortunately, in a few different cases of thinking I'm gonna learn it and do it all on my own. That, uh, especially if you're doing any kind of paid advertising or marketing, that can be a really costly, frustrating thing, even enough to just give up on it. So before you give up, certainly go get some help from someone. If you want that help from me, Steve Cypress, you go to helpfromsteve.com. I would include my last name, but that's tough to spell. So I just got the website helpfromsteve.com. If you go there, I'll talk to you soon. Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow. It'll be Social Media Saturday, so I'll be coming to you with a tip of how to make money specifically using social media. Thanks for being here today, and I'll catch you tomorrow over and out. Bye-bye.